Hello students, welcome to this class. In today's video I will be teaching you how to choose a correct verb or how to choose a singular or plural verb when you have the number and or a number as subjects. As you can see, I wrote a note here for you. The number is a singular subject and a number is plural as a subject because the expresses singularity, all right? I have four examples here written for you on the board, and the first one says, the number of people enlisting for the army is growing. As, you can, as I told you before, the expresses singularity, so the number is singular. Therefore, we used a singular verb. The number of people enlisting for the army is growing. The next one says the same thing, but with a number, not the number, okay? A number of people are enlisting for the army. Well, it doesn't say that it is growing, but it says a number of people are enlisting for the army. When you have a number as a subject, you must use a plural noun. When you have the number as a subject, you must use a singular noun, all right? Next one, the number of jokes you have played is intolerable. The number, the express a singularity. So even though you are talking about jokes, that is not the subject. The subject would be the number, okay? Is intolerable. If you said the jokes you have played, then you would say are intolerable. But jokes here is working as a part of the prepositional phrase. The number of jokes you have played is intolerable. And the last one says, a number of pets have been adopted. A number of pets, a number. So we need a plural noun. We are talking about many of pets have been adopted. Okay, so we used have. We are not using are. You could say are adopted every month, but we used have, been. We cannot say a number of pets has been, okay? So this here tells you that we are using a plural noun. If we used has, then we would say the number of pets has been, okay? But in this case, have. Next, I will give you some more practice sentences and examples so that you can keep practicing with me. Now you are going to help me fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb be. The first one says a number of students blank having better opportunities. A number, then you look at the note, plural, okay? So we need a plural verb. The plural form of the verb be is are. Having better opportunities. The second one says the number of people here, blank, unbelievable, B, okay? What is a singular form of B? Because we need the singular verb due to the fact that we are using the number, singular, a number, plural, okay? Is, right? Okay, so this is how you choose a verb or the plural or singular form of a verb when you have the number and or a number as subjects. Remember, write this note down. When you use these two as subjects, the number will have a singular verb and will be considered singular, and a number will always have plural verbs and will always be considered plural as subjects, okay? Next, I will leave you some homework because remember that you need to practice in order to improve your English. Not only through watching these videos will you learn, you will also need to practice on your own. For homework, this is a very, very simple homework. You are just going to write four sentences using a number and the number as subjects. You remember that a sentence must have a subject, a verb, and an object. So remember that every time you use a number as the subject, 
you will use a plural verb. And every time you use the number as a subject, you will always use a singular verb. All right? Remember to leave your homework in the comment section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, or question that you may have. And if you have a workbook, just do it there too, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.